Hello and welcome to this express training video. Today I will show you how to create cut lines using Adobe Illustrator. As you can see I've already loaded my bitmap image into Illustrator. To begin with click on your image and you'll see it highlighted in the layers tab which is indicated by the presence of a blue square to the right of it. We then need to create an identical copy over the top of the original. To do this click and drag the highlighted layer 1 over the create new layer button. You will now see that this copy has been created. We do this so the original layer can become our printed artwork, retaining the same appearance, whilst the other will become a donor copy from which to create our cut line. As we wish to retain the appearance of the original layer for printing, we must lock it by selecting the lock and make it invisible by deselecting the eye. Ensure the copy layer is now selected, and again this will be indicated by the presence of a blue square to the right of it. We are now ready to create our cut line. Click on the arrow next to the image trace button and select three colours. This is the lowest quality trace available, but as we are only using this as a donor copy from which to create the cut line, its appearance is not important at this stage. Click expand when this is finished processing. And this will save your changes. Illustrator will usually add a white background as part of the trace. To confirm this, click and drag the image over the edge of the page. It's quite likely that you will see a white background as indicated here. Press Ctrl and Z to return it to its original position. To remove it, choose a direct selection tool. Then click in any area where the white image background exists. Press Delete to remove this white background. Check your results by returning to the direct selection tool and again clicking and dragging the image over the edge of the page. As you can see, I've been successful in removing the white background from the image. And again, just press Ctrl and Z to return it to its original position. Next, we can go to Window and select Pathfinder. This will create another tab at the right side of the page. Under Shape Modes, select Unite. This will give us a silhouette and we can use its outer edge to create our cut line. Ensure the object is still highlighted and move over to the fill and stroke squares. First of all, click on the fill square so that it appears in front as you can see here. Below it, click on the small square with a red line through it which denotes no fill. Then, click on the stroke square so that it now appears in front as you can see here. Give it the Versworks cut contour colour and then finally give it a stroke width of 0 0.25. When deselected, your object should now have no fill and a magenta coloured outline which is necessary to be recognised in RIP softwares. If there are any unintentional lines within, use the direct selection tool to highlight these and delete them off the page. At this point the artwork is ready for printing. However, it can be useful to create a slight bleed area to reduce the possibility of any white edges being left by inaccurate machine cutting. To do this, select the cut line once more. Go to Object, Path, and Offset Path. The exact measurement you step the cut line in by will depend on factors such as artwork size and quality, but for this example, I will choose minus one millimeter. The cut line will be stepped inwards by placing a minus in front of the number and outwards by leaving it as a positive value. We now have two cut lines. Zoom the page in and out if necessary by holding the control button and pressing the plus or minus button on your keyboard. Use a direct selection tool to select the outer copy, then press delete twice to remove it. Our artwork can now be checked by adding in the print layer. Return to the layers tab and deselect the lock and select the eye to make it visible once more. Zoom in if you wish to check that you are happy with the alignment of the print and cut line. If you are happy with the artwork, it can now be saved or exported to your chosen RIP software. And of course, if there are any problems at all, please feel free to get in touch at www.expresstechnical.co.uk.